My name is Sarah Freeman Wolpert. I was raised Quaker in the Concord Friends Meeting in Pembroke, New Hampshire. And I moved to Washington, D.C. to study international affairs and started working at FCNL as the advocacy team's trainer in 2018. Today I'm the Deputy Director of Strategic Advocacy at the Friends Committee on National Legislation, where I also lead the advocacy team's program. For me, I see two core elements of Quaker grounding in FCNL's approach to lobbying and to advocacy, and that's speaking truth to power and also seeking that of God or the light in each person. By meeting directly and speaking directly to legislators, elected officials, and their staff, we are making our voices heard, making sure that we're represented in our democracy. But rather than approaching those conversations with anger or with blame, we're really seeking to identify common values, to engage in deep listening, and to try to develop longer term relationships with those people. So we're seeking that of God or the light or the divine in the people that we're meeting with. I think approaching advocacy with the desire to build relationships is incredibly unique. For members of Congress or their staff, when they meet with FCNL advocates who actually express interest in getting to know them as people, that's really surprising. That's not something they experience often. Not only does that express our respect for all people and make the other person feel seen, but it creates space for a way forward in that relationship even when we disagree on a particular piece of legislation or a specific legislative issue. So to me, this ties into this Quaker belief in continuing revelation, which leaves open the possibility that anyone could change their views or their beliefs or that we ourselves could also change. I really see storytelling as a powerful form of personal testimony and witness. The act of developing a story to use in an advocacy context really calls on us to ask big questions and discern about how these policy issues relate to our lives and the lives of other people in our communities. And stories also have a real influence over elected officials and congressional staff because they're more likely to remember your conversation, to identify with your experience and see themselves in your story, but also to see the human impact of the policy issues over which they may have a direct influence. I think most importantly, storytelling is how we speak our truth and how we represent the equal worth and dignity of all people in our representative democracy. Every person should have a right to be heard on the issues that impact our lives, not only the so-called experts or policy wonks. Each of us is an expert in our own lived experience and the experiences of people in our communities.